most of us buy lots of books but we don't know how to read a book dear friends in this video i'm going to tell you how to read a book so that you can get most out of the book in this video i will explain you such techniques which i have used on myself as well as on my hundreds of students who have got fantastic results so this video is somewhat long but it will give you the exact method exact technique of reading a book so let's start friends <music> If you think that your poor English communication is due to grammar, then you are wrong. There are many people who know all the grammar rules, they are perfect in grammar, but they can't speak confidently. On the other side, there are some people who don't know much grammar, but they are very confident speaker. It's not the grammar that's the problem, it's the confidence. That's the main issue. We have fear of English, that's the main issue. Dear friends, another issue we have, another problem we have is we have weak emotional personality. We get hurt very easily, we worry a lot, we get angry quickly, we are not able to make decisions properly. This is the sign of weak emotional personality. If you want to work on your English communication, your soft skills and your confidence, then I have developed a completely different course. The name of the course is English Communication and Confidence Therapy. This is a program which I have designed from my 17 years of experience and my practicals. Friends, this is not a very common course where grammar is taught, but this is a completely different, unique course where I used psychology and my experience to train the students. But before telling about this course, let me tell you who I am. I'm a PhD in cryogenic engineering. But my passion is to train students for English communication, soft skills and emotional personality. I am doing this since last 17 years. Well, I have helped thousands of students to develop their English communication, their confidence and their mental toughness. Now, before telling about what is this course about, let me tell you what is not there in course. This course is not a grammar course. In this course, I am not going to teach you grammar. Grammar you already know and grammar is not important for communicating confidently. Number two, this is not any online which is a recorded course where a video link is given to you and you have to download and see. No, this is not a recorded course. Number three, this is not a, any short term course, shortcut course where you will be Superman in one day or in one month. It's not like that. This is not a course where you will be given 80% and 90% discount to attract students. It's not like that. We have a fixed course fees. This is not a course which is an app based course. This is not an app where you can speak in English in 21 days or 30 days. It's not like that. Then what is this course all about? This course is a live training with me personally. It is a live training with me. And this is a long and rigorous training program. Second thing is this course will give you permanent solution for your English communication problem, for your confidence problem, for your emotional problems. So this is not any shortcut course. This course contains lot of psychological techniques which will help you to speak confidently, to communicate confidently and to be a good public speaker, good, be a good presenter as well as be mentally tougher. I get hundreds of emails every day. For that, I'm going to conduct video conferencing session with them. And after that, if I feel you have the hunger to learn, only that student will be selected. So friends, all the information is given in the description. Read the description, email me, my team will contact you. So friends, as I said, we, we buy books, we buy a lot of books, but we don't know exactly how to read a book. Well, to read a book, you have to follow certain steps, which will help you to get best out of the book. Now, out of that, the first is, we have a wrong belief, that is, the more I read, the more knowledge I get. Uh, have you seen some videos where it is said that uh, read one book in one day or read 50 books in a year or something like this, which is crazy? Well, that is not true, actually. There, I have seen one video before making this video. I saw one video. It was claimed in that video that CEOs read 52 books in a year. Now, 52 books in a year means one book per week. Well, one book per week you are reading, then what are you going to get it out of it? You are not going to get anything out of it. So, first change that belief that the more I read, the more knowledgeable I become. It's not like that. What is important is how much you understand out of the book. 
how much you get out of the book. That's very important. So forget about reading too many books. Just focus on one book at a time. There are few books which are very important, which I'll tell you in the next video. But forget about reading too many books. Read a book, study a book. I don't say read, study a book. First thing. Second thing, select an easy, interesting and helpful book. Easy. Why easy? If it is difficult, you won't be able to continue because if there are too many difficult words, if uh, if you have to refer to dictionary very frequently, don't go that. Go with that book. Change the book. Take a easier book. Select the book which matches you. Take a easy book, interesting book. Well, we read that which is interesting. Well, most of us have done this. Like we buy a book and we read two pages. It is not interesting, and we keep it in the cupboard. It is gathering dust. It hasn't come out of that. So be careful. Interesting book, but. Another thing is helpful book. I believe that reading is a very powerful tool, a really, really powerful uh, technique a human has achieved. Only humans have this, this particular reading technique. Because watch my video, I have made two videos about that. Link I have given here. Reading is yoga to your mind. Reading can change your life. It has changed my life and my students' life also. Another thing is how to read a book. I have made one more video about vocabulary development. A link is given here watch that video so friends helpful books are very important don't just read anything what you are adding here because what you read is what goes here garbage in garbage out so be careful about that another two things are there while reading if you want to develop a grammar you have to read easy books easy where you don't need to refer a dictionary huh. if you want to develop vocabulary read self-help books I know what I'm saying. Grammar will be helpful in school, but grammar is not helpful if you are an adult. If you want to develop your grammar, read story books, which are easy books. Read that and read it regularly. Your grammar will develop. Your, I will say, feel of the language will develop. Let us move ahead now. My number three, read in the morning, feed your mind with good thoughts. Make a slot, read in the morning. Don't read any time, just morning time is the fresh time where you can focus and where you can feed your mind. I call it as a breakfast of your thoughts. Breakfast of your thoughts. Just give a breakfast of your thoughts to your mind. That's the best way. So read in the morning. Don't read any time. Next point, read with a pencil. This is called as a pacer method. Okay. In this method, you have to follow the lines with pencil or a finger. Follow the lines, every, every line. This will help you to concentrate better and this will help you to read faster also. So this is called as pacer, fast method. Read loudly. Now, which books to read loudly? Read easy story books loudly. And read other books also like self-help books. But if you read a book loudly, it will develop your mouth muscles. It will develop your pronunciation. That will help you to speak properly. All right, let us move ahead now. Create the ambience, no digital distractions. Switch off your mobile phones, switch off everything. Only keep your digital dictionary on, which is required here, which I'll tell you. So keep this thing in mind. All right, friends. Okay, let us move forward now. Okay, now you are ready for reading now. Now what you have to do is, while reading, don't skip a word. Note it. Okay, what happens is, when we are reading, we feel like just continuing it without uh, finding the meaning of the word. We feel like, just let me finish it. Now, what happens due to that is, uh, you know, we guess the meaning of the word, but exact meaning of the word is not clear. Don't do that. Control yourself. Now, you know, I know that it will take some time to read one page. It will take you half an hour, but do it. Okay. Yeah. Frequency of noting down, the frequency of referring the dictionary will go down. This you have to do for a couple of months. And after a couple of months, most of the words will be familiar to you then you don't need to refer a dictionary. So you can finish a book very quickly. Very important point, don't skip a word. Note the word, note it in a separate notebook. Keep a separate vocabulary notebook for that. How to do that? I have made a video for that, okay? I have made a separate video, link I have given here. Watch that video. All right, now, patience are required. You should have patience because reading speed will not go up very, very easily. It will take some time. So you must have patience, have patience. Let us come here step by step. Read, note the word, write the meaning. As I told you, first time, read, a word is there, note down the word, write the meaning of the word in your notebook. Second step, now read for second time. 
Note the important points. Now again read the book. Total. Three times you have to read the book. Okay, I told you, don't read many books. Read one book many times. Okay, yeah. So read second time. Now you will understand better. Maybe 70%, 80%. Third time. Now study the book. See the word here is study and here read. Study means what? In depth, read the book. Okay, third time. Now you will understand 100%. Every time you read a book, you understand 100%. Now you have understood the book. Now go with audio plus physical book. Audio plus physical. Books are available in two formats. Audio book format and paperback. Okay, now take that book. Now start the audio and now listen the audio and the book. Now this will help you to develop, understand the pronunciation also. And this will help you to understand book in a better way. Okay, because we are using two senses here. Audio means listening and reading, that is physical. Reading means eyes. When you use two senses together, you understand it in a better way and last way. Okay, once this is finished, now when you're walking, when you're traveling, when you're having free time, when you're working out in gym, only listen the audio book. This will help you to understand the complete book properly. All right, friends, I know that this sounds very tedious, very time consuming. But this method has helped my students immensely and myself also. So follow this method and then see what happens. Read one book five times, seven times, ten times and read with using audio. That will help you in a better way. But first read with only book, only book you read and then read with the audio. All right, friends. Well, thanks a lot. I hope this method will help you. All right. If you have any doubts, write in the comment. I will help you out. Goodbye.